John, what about Raheem then? You know, getting booed throughout the game over in Dublin. Um, is it all over for him at Liverpool? You think he's definitely on his way? The, re- the reason for it, everyone goes over to it to Ireland, they, they, they know how a massive Liverpool are over there. It's a huge following, massive following. So obviously, they did 20,000 you know, watching the game. Yes, they were Liverpool fans as well as Ireland fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and they, they vented the frustration. Not, the, not so much about the player, you know, because. Raheem's listening far too much from his agent, and his agent's got to realise this is the predicament that he's got this lad into. Mm. You know, it, it's it, it's bad workmanship. You know, it really is the, the way he's he's gone about handling the situation with Raheem, the, the agent, is is for me, it's pathetic. It really is, and and some of this word and in, in the, the social media, you know, it, it just sums the man up. Come on, look after look after the lad. He, this is a, he's a baby, and I've watched him over the last few months, three or four months. You know, he had a real good spell from November to February when he's playing up front. Mm. And Lazio just disappeared off his own backside. He really has. He doesn't know what they... And yesterday, epitomised where he's come to. They're at crossroads. And, and he's, a, he's, a, he's a baby. He's only 20 years of age. He's lost everything that we, he had going for him at, at this moment in time. And it's purely down to his agent. Do you, do, you, do you not think Ian uh, takes some responsibility for not just him, but a few of the situations that have cropped up? Because you know what it's like in the past. A lot of the with Peter Robinson, Rick Parry era, you didn't really have the same. I know times changed to a point, but there's a lot being done in the media now rather than the Stevie yeah. situation, for example. You know, it took Stevie to come out and say they haven't offered me anything yet. You know, it, it, it's yeah. stuff normally gets done quietly. Yeah, yeah, it used to, didn't it? You know, as you say, the social media side and the way things are now, the, the rights on the case, and, um, you know, you, you, you pinpoint it all the time. I don't, we don't know, actually. It's come out, it's been offered around about £100,000 a week, which, you know, it's travelling his wages, somewhat, whatever. Um, and, and the way you can you can word contracts this day and age, surely the, 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 the agent could have sat down, even Louis Suarez had a buyout clause. Mm. You know, they could have come down and come to some amicable, amicable arrangements. But this lad needs games. He needs some edge. He's still in his apprenticeship as a footballer. You know, uh, and if he went to one of the other top teams, I don't know, you know, Madrid, for instance, or whatever, is he going to play? <laughs> no. Is he, he's going to nurture his ability. No, he's, he's better off. And the, the agent should see this. He doesn't want to, that, he's better off playing now and learning with the, And we're not a breeder club. But, you know, better off where he is now than anywhere else, you know, for, for me. You know, it, it goes without saying, and uh, it's just so frustrating for him. I really, I feel sorry for the lad, I really do, because obviously he, he knows the agent well, he's known him from from when he was a, as a kid, he, he believes what he says, and he's just leading him down, down the wrong path for me. 